Hello Leos and welcome back. How are you all doing? All right guys, if I look a little bit flustered or I'm not making any sense, yeah, it's probably because I'm really, really hot. And it is really, really hot. You can probably tell by the sun that's coming through the window. And of course, it's fucking up my lighting as well. So, all right. So Leos, we're going to start your reading by using this one here, which is called the morning sun. Okay. This is part of my new range. Okay. That's brought out. It has um, some crystals infused in it. Okay. So, yep. So we're going to be using this, okay, to cleanse the space. Leos, the day I'm recording this is actually on the Lion's Gate, which is on the 8th of August. So let's see what energy pulls out for you guys. My moon is actually Leo, so I'm super excited about this. So let's go ahead and bring in some positivity. Okay. <sighs> that smells good. That smells really good. All right. So. Let's go straight into your reading, Leos, and let's see what's going on for you guys. If you guys are interested, everything is on my website, okay, for you guys, which I kind of forgot to put there. There we go. It's there right now below the screen for you guys. So don't forget to go and check it out, okay? It's a good size bottle as well, and plus it's infused with crystals. Everything in there is natural, but it's also astringent as well, which means that it's not going to irritate your skin or cause any breakouts, okay, because of the ingredients that's in it. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for my Leos. Let's see what's going on. Leos are really going to feel the energy, especially on the Lion's Gate, which is today on the 8th. But by the time you guys are watching this, it's most likely going to be on Monday. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments, Leo, if you guys really felt the energy on a Saturday on the 8th, okay? I can really definitely feel the energy coming through. So you guys have wishes fulfilled. Look at that. Your wishes have been germinating. They're deeply planted in the soil of the loving universe. The fulfillment is here or just around the corner, but faith is required. When we put ourselves out there, it's easy to get deflated in what we, what we want doesn't materialize right away. Have confidence. You have more. You are more than capable of manifesting your deepest desires. It's all happening, dear one. And look at the colours in this. Ooh, very, very vibrant. Definitely very summery. Wow. Okay, let's see what else we have for my Leos, the moon rising in Venus. Leo, the moon rising in Venus. take that one but we do have confidence and healing coming out as well you have compassion wow i love this compassion you have compassion for the world you have compassion you feel complete when you give wow i really love that energy there Sorry if I look dull, guys, okay? It is because it's hot and my tattoos are sweating off me as well as my makeup is sweating off me. So, you know, it is what it is. Leos. I'm not taking those for you. Leos, please. Okay, we're going to take this. Bittersweet. Are you trying to make it up to someone? Maybe you were being, or maybe somebody else was being, you know, a little bit down and they felt guilty about it and, and you're trying to make up for it now. You're trying to make an apology for it. You're trying to make peace with this person. Um, this could also be about, you know, um, them doing this. Interesting. Okay. Let's go in. With the lovers oracles, Leo, please. One more card, Leo, please. So we have look deep within your heart. You will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Sorry about the reflection. 
we have embraced through each other you find the missing pieces i feel like you and this person are not together right now okay let's see what's going on for my leos leos please for their love reading thank you you have the wheel of fortune oh my god okay page of pentacles nine of swords queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn three of swords Ooh. yeah you definitely know with this person right now hermit virgo energy a lot of earth coming in so remember to flip or twist the energy it could be theirs it could be yours okay nope this is yours <laughs> king of wands that's definitely yours. I think the energy has got shifted. So this is your energy and this is their energy, I feel. Okay, so let's continue. <sighs> Leos, please. Leos, okay. You have the Nine of Wands. You have the Two of Swords. Leo's person. We'll just take it out, okay? Whoever that is. Love. Lovers. Gemini energy. Okay, let's see. Okay. We have the ten of wands got the kids coming in and out and we have the paid of wands that's definitely your energy on here let's see what's working on between you and the person in question seven of swords <laughs> okay got temptation and the chariot what do you want me to take None. Okay. What's working well, please? For Leo's and the person in question. Two ones. I feel like that's not what's working well. I don't think that's working well, but let's see. What is not working well between Leo's and the person in question? What's this? Too many? I have two cards, please, for it. What is not working well, please? And four of wands. Okay, so you've got the star and you've got the four of wands. Let's see what's karmically keeping you both connected. What is keeping this connection karmically tied? Okay, so you have... Page of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles on the Moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the Sun, Scorpionic Energy. Hmm. I was hoping things would look really good for your reading. I mean, it is kind of looking good, and I guess everything that happens, happens for the best. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune thing. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please. got the three of pentacles in reverse so it is karmically being decided or it was karmically you were karmically being put in a position of where you were putting most of the effort or this person was putting most of the effort and somebody else wasn't in this relationship so it was a one-sided relationship okay and there was a lack of effort on somebody's behalf or somebody's part. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Somebody may have apologized for that, but I don't really think so. No. So, this person was really just thinking about themselves. Okay? They acted impulsively. Um, 
this person was somebody who could have got angry very quick or maybe they found you as somebody who got angry very quick they may have found you to be somebody who is um you know jealous um somebody who has mood swings very fast um so accepting your apology for them would have been you know um unbelievable so even if you apologize to them for them you are unbelievable they don't have any trust in you now this could be them as well okay so please remember to take it how it resonates don't come at me okay also cross watchers this may resonate with you as well okay please check your moon signs as well too how about this nine of swords Whoever this person is, they are the ones who are um, not trustable. When it comes to their apology, they've done it so many times that it's becoming uh, what we like to call a habit now that's formed. Tell me about this three of... So, there was the potential of having a new beginning. That got screwed, basically. I feel like... Whoever this person is feels very stuck, uh, very depressed, feels like because their apology never got accepted, because they felt like they couldn't get away with it, the potential of having a brand new relationship, a very lustful one, a very passionate one, there's no chance of that. Okay. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is saying. And about the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands. So this person decided to move on. They regrounded themselves and they decided to move on. Okay, it may be a little bit egoistic, but they decided to move on. I feel like this relationship um, in the current situation or sort of near future, it may work out again, but only for a little while. Only for a little while because I'm seeing that in the future there is going to be um, a breakup again. This may be an on and off relationship where somebody has made a habit, you know, and they know exactly what's going to, um, what's going to work when they say something, you know, or their actions. Turn about the three of swords. There it is again, see? An apology coming in for breaking someone's heart. Turn about this hermit. They're going to feel very isolated. They're going to withdraw themselves. That's comic justice. Okay, so if they did wrong to you, justice is going to come, the truth is going to come out, maybe they'll speak the truth, okay? Bittersweet, that's the throat chakra. Let's see what this King of Wands is saying. Tell me about this King of Wands, please. Somebody was looking at working on this connection and this relationship. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Ace of Swords. But the truth, they found out the truth. So whoever this is, they decided to stay resilient. They decided to cut the bull crap out. They caught on to this person's lies. Um, and they guarded themselves from this person. And they became very resilient and told this person how it is. Okay? That you can say whatever you want. But I know you're lying. You always say this to me. And this time I'm going to cut the bull crap out with you. Tell me about the two of swords. <laughs> okay. Oh. They see you or they see this person here on this side. Somebody who juggles their relationships. Somebody who 
does not know what kind of path they need to be on somebody who um, enjoys the attention because this king of cups here is uh, somebody who is very jealous so it means that this person gets jealous because they feel like they're being juggled back and forth and yeah I mean that's normal that is so that's why this person decided to block out the potential of renewing this relationship let's see what this lovers is how about the lovers somebody from the past is coming back in making an offer so this person is coming back in and making an offer it's an ex or a past person definitely a soulmate tell me about this ten of wands if you see my arm shaking it's just the muscles okay <laughs> so this person apologized to this person this person said you've gave me enough headache i've taken a lot from this relationship and i'm waiting for something better and they turn their back on this connection tell me about this page of wands now somebody's going introspective see this person here they've got her as well by the way somebody here has gone introspective and looking for a new direction in their life that's what it is okay so somebody here is looking for a new direction away from this person okay um so what's working well is that and i'm going to say why this is working well is because somebody who was lying and somebody who was deceiving kept somebody very much stuck their lies and deceit is keeping this relationship very very much stuck and now that this has come out in the open you're managing to break away and break free and turn your back on this these lies these deceptions you know this person is trying to be sneaky and trying to get away with things perhaps having you know somebody else behind your back even though you feel stuck but you know you've turned your back and that's a start okay uh what's not working well is um somebody is unable to heal somebody's unable to renew themselves somebody wanted a happy home somebody thought this was marriage material you know or this would manifest into commitment and it didn't okay and that's why this is not working out well and everything happens for a good reason now what's karmically keeping you guys tied and what you guys are supposed to be learning from this is how to manifest your abundance how to keep you guys uh, very much you know in the element of You're also being shown how to uh, come out of this um, energy of being mentally blocked, you know, to gain some clarity, especially when it comes to your financial stability, home life as well, you know, to um, value your family values, okay? Like if you have children, um, being in routine structure, you know, how to bring in abundance into your life. And you're also being taught how to listen to your intuition because some of you all may not be listening to your intuition. So this is kind of telling you to listen to your intuition, let go of those insecurities. This relationship here is helping you face your insecurities, your fears, okay, of relationship, of commitment, if you have any. Um, okay, let's open up a door for you guys. Leo's. Leo, what door is opening for my Leos? What door is opening for Leos? Okay, we have heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Okay, damn my reflection. <laughs> okay. So Leos, I hope this resonated. If it did, don't forget to smash the like, um, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you already have, thank you so, so much. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.